Hello and welcome to this podcast episode with me, Heather Austin, your career strategy expert, helping you secure that game changing job offer. Now, this is where we unpack the layers of the job market and equip you with the insights to thrive in your career. Today, we are diving into a crucial topic that could make or break your job search success, creating an ATS friendly resume with the help of chat GPT. Now, if you've been sending out resumes, but you're not getting the responses that you'd hoped for, it's time to tune in. Plus, stay with us for an exclusive resource that will revolutionize the resume writing process for you. So first things first, we need to talk about what an ATS is and why it's so important for your job search. So applicant tracking systems or ATS are used by employers to screen resumes before they even make it on to a human reader. Now, these systems scan for keywords, they scan for skills, and they scan for specific formats to determine if your resume fits the job description. But here's where ChatGPT comes into play and why it's such a game changer for resume writing. It can quickly analyze job descriptions, it can suggest relevant keywords, and it can help phrase your experiences in a way that resonates with these algorithms. So to leverage ChatGPT, I want you to head over to openai.com and sign up for a free account to get started if you don't already have one. Then to help you streamline this entire process even more, head over to heatheraustin.online slash resume to grab your free resume template and example. Now I'll include links for you in the show notes below for all the resources that I'm mentioning in today's podcast episode. Now with that out of the way, Let's talk about the first step to building your ATS friendly resume using chat GPT. And that is to identify keywords and skills relevant to your desired position. So there are terms that ATS algorithms are on the lookout for directly tied to the job you're applying for. Let's say that you're looking at a project manager position as an example. Using ChatGPT, you can easily extract the top keywords and skills from this job description, and then you can incorporate these into your resume, especially in your professional summary and your experience section. Now, this is crucial. It's not just about listing skills, it's about demonstrating how you embody these keywords through your experience. Now, here's a problem that you could use to help you with this step. Hi, ChatGPT. Can you identify the top five to 10 keywords and skills from this job description? It's for a project manager position. And then you'll paste the job description. Now, the second step to crafting your ATS friendly resume using ChatGPT is to craft a compelling professional resume summary. Now, your resume summary is more than an introduction. It's a pitch. This is where you summarize your achievements, your skills, and what you bring to the table. So using ChatGPT, you can craft a summary that not only includes the right keywords, but also highlights your unique contributions and accomplishments. So here's an example of a prompt that you could ask ChatGPT. Hey, can you help me write a professional resume summary for this position? Highlight my five years of experience in digital marketing, showcase how my professional background and experience or expertise can address the company's major pain points, such as increasing online engagement and driving digital sales. Of course, these are things that we are learning from the job description. Mention my notable accomplishment of boosting social media engagement by 40% within a year. Conclude by emphasizing my expertise in data-driven marketing strategies and SEO. And then of course, incorporate keywords from the job posting. Now, now remember, personalization is key. This was just an example that I gave you if I were applying for a project manager position. Your prompt to chat GPT 
will look a little bit different, but make sure that you personalize that summary that chat GPT gives you. It's going to give you a pretty good solid foundation, but you always need to add your personal touch and you may even need to prompt it some more. Let's say, for example, it includes pronouns in your summary, like I, me and my. You would ask it to rewrite the summary without pronouns, or you might even ask it to shorten the summary for you. Now, the next step to an ATS friendly resume is to optimize your work experience. Now, the work experience is where you prove your value. It's not just about what you've done. It's about what you've done to make a difference. So use ChatGPT's assistance for this. And by using ChatGPT, you can refine your job responsibilities and your achievements into bullet points that are both impactful, but are also ATS friendly. Here's an example of a prompt using our same project manager position. Hey, can you help me develop four to five results driven achievement statements for my resume for my position as project manager? I would like them to be impactful and include relevant keywords. Here's what I did. Managed timelines and budgets, led a team, coordinated with other departments, implemented new software, and improved efficiency and cost savings. So you can see with this example, all we're telling ChatGPT is just a couple of the things that we've done. And now we're saying, hey, can you put these into four to five results-driven achievement statements? Now remember, with the results, you're going to need to infuse these descriptions with keywords that you've identified, ensuring that your experience aligns with the ATS and of course, with ultimately what the hiring manager is looking for, but you'll also need to add your personal touch. So keep that in mind as well. Now, in addition to your free resume template that I shared with you earlier, I have another free resource for you. If you need assistance with AI powered prompts for chat GPT, you'll want to download my free 25 powerful prompts for job seekers. It's packed with proven prompts to organize and optimize your job search, enhance your resume, your your cover letter, master your interviews, and much, much more. You can go to heatheraustin.online slash prompts or use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now, the next step to an ATS friendly resume is to pay close attention to other important sections on your resume, like your education, your certification, and even your skills. Now, these areas of your resume offer a chance to help you further align with the job descriptions requirements. Now, ChatGPT can help you structure these sections to highlight their relevance, ensuring that you're presenting a comprehensive picture of of your professional readiness. So whether it's listing the technical skills or detailing your academic background, relevance and clarity are your guiding principles. So here's a sample prompt that you could use. I'm updating the technical skills section of my resume for the project manager position. My skills include budget planning, agile methodologies, and a variety of project management software programs. Can you help me phrase these skills in a way that's impactful and relevant for this role, including any industry specific keywords that I should feature? Now, the next step to an ATS friendly resume is of course the formatting. So the formatting of your resume for ATS doesn't mean sacrificing that visual appeal. The goal is to strike a balance between what the machine machines are going to read and of course what a human is going to read. So you need to keep your layouts simple, use ATS friendly fonts, organize your content in a clear and logical order. And then remember your resume in order to get it past that ATS still needs to impress the recruiter. So it has to be well structured, visually appealing, and this is definitely going to make a big difference. Now, finally, customization and tailoring. Those are the final steps to an ATS optimized resume. And this comes down to you putting those final touches on your resume and ensuring that it's perfectly tailored to each job. So of course, we want to use AI with this to help you refine and adjust your content based on this job description. But don't lose your personal voice in this process. Your resume should reflect your professional journey and the unique value you bring to the role. So here's an example of a prompt I could use. Here's a copy of my resume based on the 
project manager job description I shared earlier. Can you provide areas of improvement and suggestions on how to enhance my resume for this position? And more importantly, how I can better tailor my resume to this position. Now, before we wrap up, remember to grab your free resources mentioned today to help you streamline the entire resume writing process. Now, whether it's an ATS optimized resume or the AI prompt cheat sheet, these tools are designed to give you a competitive edge in your job search. As always, if you found today's episode helpful, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and take just a few minutes to rate and review this podcast. Your support and feedback means the world to us. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences about using AI in your job search. So feel free to reach out. You can find me on YouTube at Professor Heather Austin or on Instagram at Professor Heather Austin. And until next time, I want you to keep pushing boundaries and pursuing your career excellence.